So you bought this piece of $20 OBD2 scanner from Walmart and you don't know how to use it because instead of an owner's manual, they give you this. Really poorly done sketches that uh, you really can't make any sense of. So we're gonna go over how to use this. We're doing two different types of cars today. I'm doing one that you actually have a key for and I'm also doing one that you have a push button start. First up, cars with a key. To begin, you plug in your OBD scanner to your OBD port and then immediately go and turn your ignition to on, but do not start the vehicle. Then you wait 15 seconds. And with this $20 scanner, there's a good chance that you're going to get the error code 17 times before it'll read the codes. This is normal because it's a $20 piece of shit. But once you actually get it to read your codes and you've tried over and over again, it'll show you the codes on the screen here. You can cycle through all of the codes by pushing the DTC button on the right here. And you can clear your codes by pushing the red button on the left here and then pushing it again to confirm. Next up, push button start vehicles. My Accord may be different than your whatever. For my Accord, in order to get the dash lights to come on, I have to push the start button twice. And be sure you're not pushing on the brake if it's automatic or clutch if it's manual because that would start the vehicle. We don't want that. So just like the other vehicle, we plug in the OBD scanner first and then immediately push our push button start. And I had better luck with my Accord. It read the first time. As you see, there's no trouble codes. So that's what it looks like if you don't have trouble codes. Now the packaging on this scanner encourages you to download their app. And I'll put a screenshot of that over here. And I guess it just describes what the code is versus just giving you the code number. So we see that we have a P1345, which is crankshaft camshaft correlation error. Thankfully for this truck, that seems pretty easy to fix. But the majority of this app seems to just be, hey, buy maintenance items from us. And I don't really appreciate that. So you really don't need their app. You can just Google. So for example, this is a 98 Silverado. So I would just Google 98 Silverado P1345, and it'll tell me what the code is and likely how to fix it too. Now, this is a free app. You have to sign in with an email and make an account basically. And one other really weird caveat to me was that you have to put your VIN in as well as the mileage on the vehicle to make this app work. I don't like that, so I'm probably not gonna use the app again. So in my opinion, skip the app altogether. So hopefully this video was useful or helpful to you. Um, I don't know why this thing doesn't work consistently, but you know what, for 20 bucks, I don't care, whatever. As usual, you be good while I'm gone. I'll see you next time. Have a good week.